Conservatives say a lot of things about themselves and quite a lot of things about others. They also say a lot of things to each other. And here, from their own mouths, are two samples of a unifying theme. But my friends, they're trying to demasculate the young men in this country because they don't want people who are going to stand up. And so I'm telling you, all of you moms here, the people who I said were the most vicious in our, uh, in our movement, if you are raising a young man, please raise them to be a monster. Raise... One of the things I tell young men, well, and young women as well, but the young men really need to hear this more, I think. You should be a monster, an absolute monster, and then you should learn how to control it. Maybe I missed a semantic shift here, but a monster is traditionally a horrifying and repulsive individual who is cruel, wicked, and depraved. And I don't ever remember monstrosity being treated as a virtue at any other time in my life, and long ago, never from conservatives. I'll note here that the voice in the ad was that of Jordan Peterson, he is a leading conservative figure to young men and boys. He is also a clinical psychologist. He's the kind of person who knows what habits of thought lead to, especially in children. And he is grooming them for monstrosity. Let's consider the scope of monstrosity. We got everything from granny being pushed off a cliff, to people being pushed in front of a car or dogs being run over, or people being beaten in the street, or people who say lots of things about others in order to gain money, power, and ultimately to make the world look like them. In homes, in churches, in stores, in schools, in synagogues, and on national holidays. So if that's the kind of world you want, well, I can't say anything about it other than you do you, boo. On the other hand, if you don't want that, and you want to stand up to it, simply turn your back, walk away from it.